excellence is not something that should be guarded or hidden. It should grow and be spread from mind to mind and be passed from hand to hand. It takes courage to be great. In fact, our own greatness is increased when we're inspired by the greatness of others. In the words of Nelson Mandela, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. Good evening, Mrs. Clark, staff, parents, and my fellow students. Tonight, we are celebrating the achievements of ourselves and we recognize that we are connected to the, the achievements of our fellow students who have gone before us and who are now spread across the globe. We acknowledge the creative and intellectual processes that have allowed our Nikilic women to challenge, to question, and to shine. I stand before you a product of five years of a Nikilic education. A young woman who has changed and grown and most certainly shone as I emerge towards my present self, perched on the edge of an exciting, yet albeit daunting future, a future uncertain but exhilarating, a future we will all face with courage and tenacity, like our patron saint did amidst the challenges of her life. Our courage needs to rise with difficulties and obstacles. St. Mary McKillop's words from the year 1890 articulate just how we shine in difficult times. There is not one person in this room who has not faced challenges in their life. There is no one here who never faces fears or doubts or great tragedy. Every single one of us has had tough times. However, the skills and dispositions grown into us as McKillop women allow us to authentically shine. The adults who have worked with us tirelessly in the classroom, after hours, on the sporting fields and on the stage, have developed us into the fine young group of graduates you see before you. Our education at this college will become one of the most, important, most powerful tools that we can use to create sustainable change in today's complex world. You have a choice. You can either be a passive victim of circumstance, or you can be the active hero of your own life. This school has inspired us to take action. Every story we have ever connected with, every leader we have ever admired, every achievement that we ever accomplish, be it big or small, is the result of taking action. At the 2016 Women in the World Summit, Hillary Clinton exclaimed, we are all agents of change. We are drivers of progress. We are makers of peace. Well, I think that these words were definitely proven true by the devotion and determination each one of us has shown throughout this tough year. We have all become the killer women who do in fact shine. Individually and collectively, we were able to challenge ourselves and our peers through our ideas, our innovation, and our engagement. We should all be proud of that. We began high school as children, but we're leaving here as adults. We've completed a basic education that will serve as the platform we use to launch ourselves into our futures. Some of us will go on to university, others will go straight into the workforce, but each of us will travel our own path. As I face this unknown future, I know that I can do it with a base that has been built upon a strong foundation. The foundation of the McKillop values of courage, enthusiasm, optimism and love. A foundation that will enable us to grab life by the horns and make a real difference in our world. To go out there and challenge the norm. To change science, become amazing engineers, dancers, lawyers, artists, doctors and filmmakers. To break down the barriers that exist and become the leaders of tomorrow, building a better world for those who follow. And we will do so looking back fondly on our time at Mary McKillop College which has encouraged each of us to seek excitement, new opportunities and challenges. It takes courage to be great, to be powerful and to shine. But by aiming higher, working harder and staying true to our faith, 
we all have achieved great things. 